Hey everyone, this is David, and I'm here to talk about a Nilgiri green tea that I received from this month's Free Your Tea subscription. So as a pure green tea, I steeped this from about 30 seconds to a minute at 175 degrees Fahrenheit. So I've never had an Indian green tea before, so it had a very fresh, spring-like green tea flavor that you would expect and a very, very mild flavor profile. That said, the overall flavor lacked depth to me. The first taste you get is this kind of acerbic, bitter tasting quality, which really tends to linger on the tongue. Kind of like chewing Advil. Steeping experiments could really only go up to a minute because anything past that and that bitterness just overwhelms the entire flavor. Now on the first steep, it does have a more floral flavor profile, so it's less like you're chewing Advil and more like you're standing in a field of grass. Chewing Advil. There also seems to be more tannins in this tea than I would normally expect for a green tea. Tannins are that thing in red wine that make it taste like you licked the Sahara Desert with your tongue. As a result, it left my mouth feeling pretty dry, and it also cuts flat the flavor. After you swallow, there's absolutely no back end, so all you're left with is that floral, bitter aftertaste with none of the richness that you would expect from a green tea. In order to get rid of that bitterness, I tried putting in some honey, but the problem is that it's such a mild green tea that any of the floral notes completely vanish when you put honey in. Sugar would probably be better, which makes more sense traditionally for an Indian tea anyway, but overall, it just gets rid of any of the subtlety that you would find. Overall, the Nilgiri Green is a decent enough one-time tea, but it's not anything you'd want to take home to meet your parents. Which is why, for my book tea pairing, I'm pairing the Nilgiri Green with... Pride and Prejudice and Zombies.